Hi, welcome to my channel. In this video I'd like to show you how to install a steel buff. So I'm going to show you how to install uh, two tabs on it. Also the waste with the overflow. And connect the buff trap to the waste system. So let's start with the waste. There's a screw with the plate and foam washer on it. So this goes on top of the waste inside the bath. And this bit with the rubber washer this goes under the bath. Place the washer, then the plate. You need to tighten it with the screwdriver. As I tighten it, I need to hold the plastic uh, bit under the butt so it's not moving around so I can easily tighten it. And then on the other side, we've got the overflow bit. We need to untighten it. As you see, there's a foam washer as well. So this goes at the back of the bath, and inside the bath, you tighten it just with this plastic. Now let's do the tabs. Um, as you see, it's got thread that goes under the bath, inside the bath, then some washer and the nut that goes on this side, under the bath. So you just place the tab on the bath. Now we place the washer first, then the nut on the thread. So now we need to tie the nuts here. So I'm using the basin wrench. It costs something below five pounds in screw fix. Um, we've got two ends, one small for basin, one a bit bigger for the buff. So especially when there's the, the plastic nut, you just need to place it onto the nut Hold the tab straight as, as you like and tighten it basically as much as you can. So now to connect the tabs to the uh, mains, I'm using the flexi, uh, flexi connection. So on one end, the nut with the washer inside, as you see. So this goes, um, basically this fits this thread. And I'm using the spanner just to tighten it a little bit. On the other end of the flexi hose, you've got the compression joint. So there's a nut and olive inside. So basically, you just slide the 15mm copper pipe into here. 
and tight it. Now let's put the puff in the place where it should be. So because I've got the push fit fittings here, where the tap should be connected, so basically the copper pipe, 15mm copper pipe will slide into the push fit. So I'm gonna do the compression connection first. Uh, basically put the copper bits at the end of the compression joint and then slide it into the push fits. Now we can open the valves and check if there is uh, any leaks. Now let's fit the buff trap. Now we can open the tabs and check if there are any leaks under the bar. So the next step in the buff installation is to check again if the, the whole bath, buff is in level. Um, I've done it previously so I'm pretty sure it is. So uh, now we need to seal the gap between the wall and the bath all around when it sticks to the wall. Uh, to do it I'm using um, clear silicone, transparent silicone, like so. So I'm going to fill all of this gap between the wall and the buff. And this silicone won't be visible as I'm gonna add another line of tiles that's gonna rest on, uh, on the buff so this silicone will be behind the tiles. This is just extra safety so uh, to make sure there's no leakage uh, in the future behind the buff. And this silicone do two things. First it's seal it obviously and then another thing is it's gonna glue the bath to the wall, so the bath is not moving anymore. silicone is dried, in this case it's going to take about 16 hours, then I can obviously remove this uh, wood, uh, add another line of uh, tiles around the buff 
and then put another silicone, this time between the uh, tiles and the buff. So if you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you for watching.